week. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Stocks go up, stocks go down. Uh, just making sure you can hear me. Somebody say yes. So I don't do this again. Okay. Unbelievable. I have told you this before. You don't sell stuff at five cents. It's just dumb. Now, you you can if you're way out of the money and say you have, uh, say, the 370s and 350s, you could sell the 370s at five cents and buy the 350s at five cents so it doesn't cost you nothing. But you never sell it because things like SMCI happen. They just do. And it happened to me many, many years ago. I learned my lesson, uh, lost like 30, 40 grand, and didn't lose it, just I didn't make it, right? But you never forget that. You never forget that. You just don't. You just don't, okay? So what is the news? I see SMCI guiding up. What does the news mean? Well, the news, and SPX continues to go high. The, the news means that if SMCI is building more computers, that means they have a demand for more. But last quarter, they guided down because they couldn't get enough chips. They said they couldn't make enough computers, more computers. So that means NVIDIA is selling more chips or AMD is selling more chips. That's it. Take your pick. One of those two is selling more chips. Okay? Uh, things I'm hearing on NVIDIA is their revenue is going to double again next year from this year. Jesus. I mean, all these people that think that it wasn't going to go, they're getting butchered. That would take NVIDIA somewhere in the 680 to $700 range. Wow. Maybe. Maybe not. Don't know. Okay? But what a start to the year. SMCI. Wow. We caught it before at 316. <clears throat> Went to 357. This 357 is very hard. If it gets through 357 today... It can go all the way to 372. I don't know if it's going to get there. 350, right there, round number, maybe, hold. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay? But what a stunning, stunning move. Microsoft trying to break up. There was a 398. It's down a buck. Tesla going lower. I keep telling you, Tesla, why are you guys so, people so hung up on Tesla? There's nothing good going on with Tesla. There's nothing good. He's gonna how how is he gonna raise margins when when he's giving people raises and the parts cost more? It is just you know it's a play to the downside. Microsoft break up three ninety eight. Uh, what else we got? We got uh, land research. If you're building more computers, you need more memory. But Taiwan Semini already told you that. I mean. The land research calls were insane yesterday. You know, it opens at 770 at the money air 12. The, the, the 800s are two. Now it's at 800. So here's the thing. Does it get through 800 today? I don't know. If it does, probably goes to 809, 820. And sure looks like 870 coming on earnings. AMD. We had AMDs at, what, 60 cents. We sold them at 350. Huge position, took 70 grand on it, didn't roll up, and now it's back up again, but we roll to next week. Next week's, not next week, two weeks, three weeks out, okay? Uh, so very interesting. I keep telling you on Bitcoin and coin, look, unless Bitcoin goes up, these things aren't going up, and coin isn't going up anyway. Coin probably has earnings goes to 90, okay? But people are stubborn. And instead of playing stuff that's moving, they go play stubborn stuff. You can't do that, okay? Okay? CrowdStrike tried to break down on Wednesday. CrowdStrike, Pan W, and Zscaler tried to break down. And then right back up, it tells you how strong they are. Snowman, still not way up there at 203. They would have to guide up. Do they? I don't know. Okay? Uh... Adobe, why? Why is if if all the these things are doing great and Nvidia is at its high, cloud demand is at its high, Microsoft is at its high, uh, 
Avago is at its high. Adobe, which had earnings, is 40 points underneath. So if and when it gets to 603, it's probably going to go to 612 that same day. Lily, price hike yesterday. You, 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 you're going to do well on these at 622.50. It's probably going to be five, six bucks. Probably sell them at open. And then we see, and then we see, then we see. Okay? Look, when you get a price hike and they take things down, these things, that's a gift. It's a gift. Okay? Interesting, interesting, interesting. Uh, and then we see NVIDIA. If you buy NVIDIA every day, now, for the last two weeks, every single day it opens up five, six, seven points. Every single day. Isn't that interesting? So I remember a time when Apple pre-split way up there, 400, 500, whatever it was. Uh, it would open up 10 points every day for like two months. It opened up every day 10 points. You sell it right at the open. You buy it at the close, sell it at the open. Every single day, you'd make a dollar or two. Every single day. And people would come out, every chart would... But these guys on Twitter, just really stupid people, would say, oh, this is overbought. Who cares it's overbought? How How is NVIDIA overbought? They're saying RSI 70, it's overbought. Well, what is the RSI? Relative strength? Why is that accurate? It's not accurate. It's 50-year-old ter terminology. If NVIDIA guides up, I mean, did you see what Zuckerberg said? He's going to have half a million H... H100s. I don't. So let's just go do the math here. Uh, Five hundred thousand. Can't do it in my head today. I'm doing too much. It's done forty thousand. It's twenty billion dollars. He has twenty billion dollars in chips. One company has twenty billion dollars in chips, and he bought them from Nvidia. If he does it again next year, NVIDIA probably going to be at 20 PE. So how is it overbought? It doesn't matter. Guys, these things that people are teaching you, except Sam, are just stupid. I mean, there's, there's some really smart guys on Twitter that for the last two plus years, have turned into absolute idiots. Oh my God, the curve is inverted. We're coming into a recession. What if the curve uninverts in the next month and you get no recession and you get huge growth and inflation comes down? You're going to say, I'm wrong for, and then four. Three, four years later, you're going to get inverted curve and they're going to say, oh, my God, recession. Because they've been taught stuff that's ancient. Okay? Go give your kid an iPhone 1 or iPhone 2 when he already knows how to use a 12 or 13. And he's going to break it. The next day, he's going to tell you he lost it. Okay? Nobody cares what you learned when you were young and everything else. Nobody cares that you use DOS or you use slash CD change directory or DIR directory. Nobody cares. So why do they care? Oh, my God, you get a recession here. Oh, this is overbought. Oh, this. do you know on a two-year time span? The SPX hasn't moved. How's it overbought on the two-year? It's not overbought. Very interesting, right? But the chips, it's called Chippy Day. Chippy, Chippy. Come to Papa. There's one for you. There'll be two more. <laughs> but Lamb Research looks like it's going to rip. NVIDIA looks like it's going to rip. Microsoft, very nice, should hit 400. The question is, does it hit 400 and drop 8? Or does it hit 400 and close at 403 and it's gone? Right? 
So the implications that says SMCI NVIDIA rips, AMD rips, Avago rips, all the chips rip, all the cloud stocks go up, MDB, et cetera, et cetera. Nobody's buying MDB. Guys, don't don't get silly. Nobody's buying a company that's not in a creative. Their, their stock will get slaughtered. Okay? What does a creative mean? It means that if you buy a company and they don't make any money, you 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 dilute your stock and you don't get any earnings. That's what it means. It has to be a creative. You have to make some money so your earnings go up. Nobody's buying companies that are non-creative. Now, companies that are non-creative themselves, then they would. But nobody else, okay? Boeing. I don't know what's going on, Boeing. Boeing plane is flying in the air on fire. Who knows what that is? I have no idea. But if that was a true video, and I don't know if it's true or not, why is Boeing not down 30? <laughs> so I don't know. But I don't care. Because I only care uh, that we destroy Microsoft two layers and destroy NVIDIA and destroy Land Research and destroy Lilly and destroy AMD. Are you smiling? That's where we know. That's where we know. Okay, let's get started. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. 119. Stocks go up. Stocks go down. Then we see SPX was up 28. It is up 25. That puts it at 48.05. If it takes out 48.21 with force, it can go to 48.50 today. If it goes back under 47.90, it can probably go to 47.70. Avago, 11.72, 11.21. NVIDIA, 5.82, 5.91, underneath 5.66. If... We take out 4721, NVIDIA can go through 491 really fast, 591 really fast. Adobe, 603, big number. Lamb Research, 803, 809. Lilly, 626, 632. CrowdStrike, 288, 291. Pan W, 341, 352. Snowman, 191, 196. AMD. 168, 172. Coin, 119, huge, huge, huge number, not a beast. Netflix, 500, 509. Goldman Sachs, 388. Boeing, 196, 191. Caterpillar, 291. SMCI, 351, 357 beast. Okay? So, guys, these people on Twitter that don't understand stuff, comments. Somebody said, I said yesterday, SMCI was very expensive for, for next week. It was. But it moved 30. And then he said, well, how can it be expensive and have a beast? Why can't it have a beast? Confused. Lily 603 was there for seven weeks, and it was expensive every seven weeks. Guys. Think, 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 you know, you don't need to question stuff like that. I mean, if some, if Sam tells you it's a beast, it's a beast. How'd you get the beast? I'm not going to tell you. Okay. Why would I tell you? Okay. Very straightforward, but you can figure it out if you're in the room long enough, very easy to see, but you don't think like me, but I'm not going to tell you. Okay. Microsoft. 401, 409. NOW, look at NOW. The 720s were $2. Were $2 on Monday. The 35. 762. Tesla, 209, 201. That's what we know. Everybody have a great turn day. See you in chat. Oh, my mode. Oh, my mode. Come to Papa. One more.